Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Well, this is a section of red. I'm trying to make a video. Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. This is an area of the farm here that doesn't often get very much video attention. These are all the banana trees right next to the piggery. Hello, Peepa. How are you, Peepa Pig? Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Peepa. How are you, Peepa, huh? You're not even going to look at me? Are you mad at me? Hmm? I don't know, let me see here. I don't know, people might be having some piglets here pretty soon. Anyway, um, what we've done here is all along this piggery, you know, these, these bananas were all down. Um, they were basically done after the typhoon, all blown down, all destroyed. But they've all come back, and they've come back with a vengeance, and too much of a vengeance, actually. So, the bananas just, they won't produce, and they're really susceptible to disease if they're not properly uh, trimmed and cut back. They have to be, their growth has to be curtailed. And so that's what Tatai and the crew have been doing is thinning out these banana trees. they taken out a lot of them so that the ones that are left don't get sick and they actually make uh, a lot of large bananas. So what's that Tate? Uh, it actually that stuff did die huh? Mostly. Well, actually, Tatai, what I want to do uh, is begin. Uh, it rained. La you know, my plan, Tatai, was to burn this grass in the middles, but it rained almost all night last night, and so I don't think it will burn. What I want to do, Tatai, is begin the basins around these trees, uh, around the banana trees. Can you have the can you have the lads go get uh, both of the bars and uh, the shovel and the hoe? So I'm going to give them a sample of what I want here. Did they check in this area here, Tatai? There's no banana growing in there. Yeah, if there if there's not a tree right in here, it looks like we could even yeah at least one, and they still need to clear around this one. Uh, the the one that is not with the dead leaves, they need to clear around that also. But we need to if there's no tree. If there's no banana in here growing, this needs to be cleaned out and we need to plant one. But let me show them what I want done uh, with the basins. It, it rained last night, so this soil will be much uh, easier to work, at least initially. It'll be softer to dig in. All right, so this is the sample of what I want. And we're gonna put, I don't know, what do you think, Tate? one wheelbarrow of rice holes? Maybe one wheelbarrow is enough, full wheelbarrow. One, yeah, one full wheelbarrow. So we're gonna put one full wheelbarrow of rice holes in there and mix it in just a little bit. And then we're gonna be uh, planting the, uh, the watermelons in here. We 
we seem to be short one uh, that shovel that red just threw down there is a square point and we need I don't even know what you call that kind of a shovel a conventional shovel and uh, pointed shovel uh, because with all these little weeds in it it's just too much to dig with that square shovel you've got to have a shovel with a point on it huh Spade. Spade? Yeah. This soil here on this this area right here is actually, believe it or not, some of the best soil that we've got. There's a lot of sand already mixed in with it. You can see that there's quite a bit of sand in this and it's nothing like digging in that that clay out there. So I'm hoping uh, the melons will do well here. Now I have dug down when we were digging the holes uh, for these banana trees you get about two feet of this good soil and then it turns into that pebbly, um, really hard pebbly, you can't even really call it soil, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a sand and rock mix that is just not that great. But this stuff on the top here is good. So the, you know, the, the melons will start off really good. When they hit that hard pan down on the bottom, uh, it's going to be tough for them, but, you know, you can only work with, you can only do you only do what you can with what you got. Alright guys, now there's something you're going to have to watch. Look, the, the land here is like this, yeah? So I want to be able to put water in this evenly. So that means most of your soil needs to go on this side. Now if it was like this, if the slope was like this, then most of your soil needs to go here. But because it's a little bit like this, okay, I'm getting them lined out here just perfect. Wow, what you got there, Red? It's a coke. You brought me some coke, huh? No, it's my dog. Them, it's for them. Why not? For me? Why don't I get some, Red? If and if it's for them, why are you drinking it? I would drink this. But I thought you said it was for them. I will give. I will give them. Oh, they're going to share with. They're going. They're sharing with you whether they like to or not. Oh, I get it now, Red. Oh, Red styling a, a new do. He's getting ready. Uh, classes finally are beginning. Uh, t uh, in 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 person, face to face classes are beginning for Red in about a week, I think. I think the 16th is when Gina was saying. Looks good to me, Tate. And I'm sure the banana trees will love the extra uh, fertilizer that they're going to get as well. We, I don't think I've ever fertilized these trees here. And as you can see, they're in various states of health. So, I mean, this is just going to be beneficial all the way around. This little, this little portion here, together with what's going up there close to the fattening pins, is all together probably half the size of the, all these fields here. And uh, it's too much of an area not to be utilized and dual purposed.
You know, finally that stuff that Tatai sprayed is starting to have a, a small effect on these fields. This stuff is dying, so we might begin planting in here next week. Now they don't need to go quite that deep, Tatai. That's that's deep enough. They just need to clean it out. We're we're not digging a swimming pool. Okay, that's fine. That's good right there. It's a little bit. A little bit larger maybe on the next one. A little bit bigger around. And don't pack it. Don't walk around in there. It's going to get packed enough when we water it. In, in one ear and out the other. Alrighty. It's a good day for working. It's not too... It's overcast and there's a breeze. It's not too bad, so I'm going to get in here and get to helping them. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.